Hi everyone and welcome to today's workout. Today we're gonna to be doing a glute and core workout. You're gonna need a resistance band. This one is the medium one by Bosu. Go ahead and grab your resistance band, come onto your mat and we'll begin. So the glutes and the core are really great to help support the low back. So firing them on is a really good idea. So that's the aim of today's workout. So to start, take your resistance band, we'll put it just above the knees, maybe two inches or so, and come down onto your back. Bring your hands behind your head and find a little bit of resistance in the band. So drive the knees out to the side a little bit. Take your feet kind of close to your hips. Your core is engaged. So you want to think about it kind of tightening up and going in towards the spine. And then from here, we're just going to peel the upper back off the ground and lower down. Exhale and peel the upper back off the ground. Now the whole time you're doing this, you're driving the knees out to the side you are thinking about bringing your core in towards your spine and linking your breath with your movement. So as you exhale, rise up. As you inhale, lower down. Keeping the core in towards the spine as you lift. We've got five more here. Five, four, three, two, last one, one. Lower the head all the way down to the ground, arms by your side. Press down through the heels to lift the hips, lower down halfway, then lift the hips up as high as you can. Well, not as high as you can, but full hip extension. You don't wanna go super high and hyperextend through the hips, just full hip extension, meaning you have one straight line from your knee down through your uh, torso. Lower down, lift back up. Lower down halfway, lift up, and then lower all the way down. So it's an all the way lift, halfway down, all the way back up, lower all the way down. Lift all the way, halfway down, lift all the way, lower all the way down. Lift up, halfway down, lift up, lower down. Keep going, lift up, halfway down, lift up, lower all the way down. Now the whole time you're thinking about driving the knees out against the resistance of the band. We've got six more. Five. Four. Keeping your core strong as well. Three. Two. And one. Great job. Lower all the way down. Let the knees rest. And then from here, you're gonna bring your arms by your side. Core is strong. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, peel the head and shoulders off the ground and arms are gonna lift up as well. Take the knees against the resistance of the band. We're gonna go side to side and tap your hands, tap your fingertips against the ankles. As you move, think about the core drawing in towards your spine, staying nice and strong to support the lumbar spine. We have 10 more, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Lower down. Now from here, we're gonna lift the right leg up just a little bit and heel toe your left foot into the center a tiny bit more. Then from here, you're gonna press down through the left heel to lift the hips up and lower down. Keep that right foot flexed, keep the right leg lifted, lift and lower. Three, four, five, six, four more, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Other side, lower right foot down, heel it in, heel toe it in towards the center a bit more, lift the left leg, flex left foot, lift up and down for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent. Lower down with the feet. And from here, bring the bottoms of the feet to touch. Knees go out to the side. So now you're really pushing against 
the resistance of that band. Press into the outside edges of the feet and then lift and lower the hips. Three, four. Find your core, feel it nice and strong. Seven, eight, nine, 10. 20 more. 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Roll over onto your side. Bend the knees about 45 degrees. We're going to stack them. And the head can rest in the hand. Core is strong. And we're going to lift the knee while pressing the side of the ball of the foot and the heel together with the other foot. So you're lifting, lowering. Now when you lower, try not to let this go slack. So we don't want to come all the way down so there's no resistance there. Our end point is about here where there's just a little bit of resistance. So you're lifting, lowering. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, three more, 18, 19, and 20. Excellent job. From here, sit up. You're gonna lean your hands back, lift up out of your chest, bend your elbows a little bit. Take the knees out to the side, and we're gonna open the knees wide, and then take the knees about halfway back. So at the end point, you still have some resistance through your band. Don't let the knees come together so that you lose the resistance of the band. So we're opening, closing about halfway. <laughs> Two, three, four, five. Keep your core strong. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 20 more. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, and 2, and one. Rise up. We'll take it over to the other side. And we're going down onto our side. Head rests in your hands. Legs are stacked. Okay. So we're going to press the balls of the feet together, the sides of the, the balls of the feet, and then the heels. We keep those together. And then lift the knee as high as you can go and come about halfway back. Two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten more. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come on up. Turn to the side. Or sorry, you're going to sit facing the short edge of your mat. And once again, we open and then close halfway. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Keep your core strong. Nine, 10, spine neutral. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 10 more. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Okay, slide that band off. We're going to come into a side plank position on your forearm. Now you have some options. Option one is keep this bottom knee bent and lift up. And option two, stagger or stack the feet. 
Wherever you are, find your way into your side plank. We're gonna lift and lower the hips. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, just going to 10 here, nine and 10. Good job, take it over to the other side. We're gonna do this twice. So here we go, find your variation of a side plank that works best for you and rise up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two more, nine and 10. Right back over to the other side. So this is great because yes, you're getting some core, but you're also getting a little bit of upper body, which is nice too. Okay, round two. Lifting up, here we go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Other side. Right into it, here we go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three and two and one. Come to stand, take your resistance band with you. This time we're gonna slide it over the shins, about halfway up the shins. And we're gonna step, let's start in the middle of your mat. Bend your knees, send your hips back. Try not to arch your back, spine is neutral. We're gonna step the foot out to the side, back to center out to the side, back to center. Here we go. Two, three, three, four, four. Keep your core strong here. This is still a core move. Six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine. We're stopping at 10, 10, and 10. Great, stand up. Give yourself a little wiggle. We're gonna do this a very similar move. We're gonna stay a bit taller and the feet are gonna go about 45 degrees back behind you. So it's kind of a little kick back or a tap back. So here we go. One and then switch sides. One, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six. Check in with your core and your shoulders. Eight, shoulders back, eight, nine, nine, and 10, 10. Whew, stand up tall, give yourself a little wiggle, help shake it out. Come to the back of your mat now. You know I love these monster walks. So find some resistance. Feet are about hip distance, maybe a little wider. And then we're gonna baby step down. Your core is really tight. This is still a core move. We're going down. Once we get down here, we're gonna kick out to the side, out to the side, out to the side, out to the side, three times on each side, then go backwards. Once you get all the way back, you know what to do. Three times each side. Walk forward. Whew. Three, four, five, six. Here we go, side. Side, 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 and side, and side. Walk backwards. We have one more of these. Side, 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 side and side to the side. Walk forward, last one. Oh my gosh, this is challenging. Side, 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 one more. Side and side, walk backwards. Whew. And we're ending here to go side, 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 and to the side, to the side. Whew. Slide that band off, let's stretch it out. Come down onto your mat in a seated position. We're gonna bend the right leg, cross the left foot over top and over to the other side. Give that leg a nice hug in. <sighs> so you feel that activation there for sure. 
Then from here, let's take the foot out to the side, extend the leg, reach the arm up and over. Giving the side body a good stretch. And then as you breathe in, rise up, square your upper body over your extended leg. And as you exhale, we'll bring the chest down. This doesn't have to be like head to knee. We're not trying to stretch the back. We're trying to stretch the hamstrings. And you may also feel this through the right hip. Whew. And then breathe in, rise up. Let's switch sides. So we'll bend that left leg, cross the right foot over top. Give the leg a nice hug and sit really tall. Feel that release there through the hip. As you breathe in, rise up. We'll take this leg out to the side and reach your arm up and over, getting a good stretch through the side of your body. And then as you inhale, begin to rise up. You'll turn so you're facing your extended leg and then just reach your chest forward towards the shin. Does not matter how low or how close you get towards your foot or towards your leg. We're really just trying to find a good stretch. And as long as you're feeling a good stretch across the back of the leg, you are doing it well. Inhale, rise up. Let's take the bottoms of the feet to touch. Thumbs come into the arches of the feet. Open the feet up like a book and then just reach your chest forward. Give yourself a little wiggle side to side. This can feel so nice through the hips, through the inner thighs. And then as you breathe in, rise up, and we are finished. Thank you so much for working out with me. I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope to see you next time.